Okay, we'd like to, on behalf of the Eco School of Music, I'd like to welcome you to our second holiday mixed choir concert, or our second concert, which is our holiday mixed choir concert for the Ethos Mixed Choir. Um, we've had a really fun semester. This is our inaugural semester of running the choir here at Ethos. Uh, we just started a, an orchestra and a choir, and we had a lot of fun. Um, we have mostly mainly family groups who are a part of our choir. Um, I own Persephone, Safi, and Landon. The McLeans own each other. And the um, Cornells own a bunch of, them, you know, you see Mary, Caroline, Rachel, and Craig. And then we have the Stutzes, uh, Sierra and Josiah. And we have a, a guest, one of our piano vocal students here at uh, Ethos, just joined the choir, um, help us with this concert. He's going to actually sing one of our solos, and that's Samuel Hopkins. So I kind of own Landon, Safi, Persephone, and Samuel. I kind of own all of them. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, our program is going to go as outlined, except there are a couple things. I made some errors. Oh, our soloist. We also have a cello soloist. William Cornell, who will be <laughs> joining us for two numbers, and our tenor soloist, who's a good friend of mine, um, we actually performed on the Glade Chamber Music Series together, David Wagant, and so David is here, and he'll be doing four solo numbers for us, and actually his first solo number will be the number six, Midnight Noel, and then the way in the manger will come and the place of number six, so we reverse those. And then also, after he sings Jesu Bambino, number 10, we're going to do number 12, Angel's Carol, before we do number 11, Down to the River to Pray. So just be aware, if you're looking at your program and suddenly you're like, oh wait, they're singing something else, I warned you. So now you know <laughs> why we're going to have a slightly different order. And with that, we're going to go ahead and begin.
반대 기타. 
Um, I'm going to give you a quick overview of what we're doing on this program. And um, David was kind enough, our regular vocal teacher here at Studio, Ian Jose Ramirez, who was going to sing our solos tonight, um, ended up being stuck in a situation where he was caring for people who have COVID. So they tested positive for COVID, and he was unable to be here because now he's caretaking. And so David agreed last minute yesterday to step in and sing his songs. <laughs> and so we're very grateful for David to join us. And we miss Ian a lot, and we're wishing him and sending all our thoughts and prayers. Um, but I know that he's very happy also that uh, David playing to this. So our first piece was, of course, to just set the stage. Um, singing is probably the most heightened form of communication we have as human beings. Um, as we've studied music and its effects on the mind and on the body, we've discovered that it uses all of the centers of the brain associated with language, as well as emotion, muscle memory, all kinds of memory, sensory memory. Music is, is probably the most holistic practice that our brains use. And so opening with angels we have heard on high was our way of saying that when we join in the choir and when we sing together, we're actually performing a work that is almost superhuman. And, su and there are superhuman results. They found that people who sing in choirs, their hearts begin to beat in unison. Their breathing is in unison already. They have to breathe together, but their hearts begin to beat in unison. That's the next. That's the And so that's, that's why we start with angels we have heard on high. And then Midnight Noel is to set the scene. We're, we're here to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. And that's our purpose tonight. The next pieces that we're going to sing are pieces about the season. We're going to sing a, a piece by Eric Whitaker now called Glow. And it's just about that morning when you come out after the snow, which you don't often have here in Texas. <laughs> a couple times every decade, right? So a couple times every decade. Oh, sorry. Sorry. We're first going to sing, sorry, the Bach Chorale. We're going to sing the Bach Chorale. We're going to, we're going to set up three pieces. So this Lutheran Chorale by Bach is a very didactic piece. It's, it's very much set with um, asking us to be good Christian people, to love one another, to serve one another, and to remember who is our namesake, Christ. So we're going to sing this um, Chorale by Bach called Freidig Zell or Meine Zell. They're going to be singing in German. Um, and then we're going to sing Glow, which these are the pieces that are, are meant to set us up in the mood of what we're about to experience today and who we're remembering. So we're going to sing Glow, which is about that first morning when you come out and the snow is on the ground and there's a bit of a, a new feeling in the air. And then we're going to sing Carol of the Bell, which is about the bells that are announcing the arrival of the season. And then we're going to go again to David with a wing in the manger. So we'll go to that point.
And, and they really did an awesome job. Mm -hmm. I love this choir, so they did an awesome job. <laughs> So now, Carol the Bell. So we move from the secular, Eric Whitaker's piece is fairly secular, so tell you that's more religious. This one, um, if you're familiar with um, Carol the Bell, uh, talks about the songs of good cheer in Christmas and the importance of celebrating Christmas, which is the Mass of Christ, right? the celebration of Christ. So Carol the Bell. She might. Oh. 
Kind of guys will come with kind of manual with a cool cello solo as well in there. So we're excited to perform this piece and thank you, Julian, for joining us. So here we go. Come with come.
This is by Mozart. It's called the Ave Heaven Corpus, which means um, hell, the true body. And the words um, pertain to any holiday that celebrates Christ, but it's basically hell, hell, true body, born of Mary the Virgin. Um, true sacrifice for all men, or truly sacrificed or suffered on the cross for all men. Um, pierced in the side where blood and water flow. And so this, this is all about Christ. And it's very liturgical. It's very different. You're going to hear it. It's a totally different setting. This is, this is what you would have gotten in a Catholic church and even like 300 years before Mozart. He wrote this in a style that was very looking back, even for his day. It wasn't classical. It was very much in the choral setting that you would have had with someone like Michael Pretorius or Palestrina. And that's, that's where Mozart was turning for his inspiration for this. So you're going to hear something. And in the Catholic Church, which is very sad at that time, you wouldn't have had any women singing. They wouldn't allow women to sing in the Catholic Church. It would have been all boys and men. And so, in this case, we love our women here. <laughs> here we go. Ave Verum
here, and we know he's going to suffer. And so this is a very interesting carol, and I, I'm sure you've all sung Joy to the World. And the person who wrote it, um, the music, Lowell Mason, when he wrote this, he refused to sign his name to it. Even though it's not found anywhere in the works, collected works of, of Handel, he insisted that he got this from Handel, who had been dead for a couple hundred years when Lowell Mason composed this. But he insisted that it came from Handel. So for years, it had Handel's name on it. But it was actually written by Lowell Mason, but they are now beginning to say, based on Handel. But Lowell Mason doesn't got his inspiration from Handel. John Rudder then took the Lowell Mason version, and he wrote it out like a Handel chorus. So this is the John Rudder version, which is written out like a true Handel chorus from the Messiah. So this is Joy to the World, written by Lowell Mason, inspired by Handel, in the style of Handel, written by John Rudder. <laughs> <laughs> but here is our joy at Christ being born. born, joy to the world, 
And now we come to Jesus and Jesus. This is a very beautiful, classical uh, art song written by Peter Young, Pietro Young in Italian. And um, it's, it has, it's all about, uh, it's almost like a way in the nature, but it's on way, it's all about Jesus and Jesus, which in Italian means baby Jesus. So Jesus and Jesus means baby Jesus. And, uh, and it has a little bit of come. Look, come see him, come see the baby. And so that's what we're calling now, come see the baby.
now we're on to the invitation. So we're invited to hear the angels again. And this piece, although not specifically a Christmas song, is very famous. Now we're into our spiritual, this is spiritual. And it's down to the river to pray. And it's about going down to the river and being washed in the waters. It's one of the missions of Christ, right? And so this piece, um, some of you may know from the movie, Oh Brother, How Art Thou? Um, this isn't the version they sang in the movie. We almost sang that one. We printed it up, and I was like, this is too weird. We're not going to be able to make this work. So um, we found another version, and this is the version that we love. So um, down to the river to pray. Thank mm -hmm.
piece, actually two pieces, are very closely related, and then we'll have one more solo piece. So this piece that we're about to sing is from Coldplay, and it's called Viva La Vida. And it's about an earthly king. It's about King Louis XVI, who was the reigning monarch in France at the time of the revolution. And his grandfather was the famous Louis XIV, who was the sun king, who was the person who unified all of France. He took all these different tribes and he unified them together, and he created the French Empire, which was the biggest and most powerful empire in Europe in the uh, 15th and 16th centuries. And then his son, Louis XVII, was kind of a decadent king. He was a jerk. And no, I mean, he was just, he was awful. But he held sway. He, he still kept power. His son, Louis XVI, was actually a mild, manly guy, a nice guy. But he was the one who took all the blame for the problems France had that were created by his dad, Louis XVII. And so eventually, they, of course, revolted. They had the French Revolution. And they beheaded Louis XVI. And there's an apocryphal story that Louis XVI, as he says, well, it actually happened. As he was going up the scaffolding, he turned to talk to the masses that were there in the square and, and to try and say something. He started speaking, but they were calling for his head so loudly, and they started screaming louder when he turned around to speak that no one heard what he said. And so what Coldplay did is they created this song based on the words that they believed Louis XVI would have spoken. And so you're going to hear the sorrows of a king who's been deposed by his people who felt like he came into it in glory and he's going down in shame. And you're going to hear him also talk about his hopes for his people. But you're going to hear here about an earthly king, and then we're going to compare it to the piece, Jesus, Jesus, Rest Your Head, which is our um, second to our last, our pentacles of our choral piece. And so we're just going to go one right into the next, so you can hear that contrast of the two kings, the earthly king, Louis XVI, versus the heavenly king, Jesus Christ.
a melody she composed to go with it that we normally call an obligato or a death camp. And, uh, and so you'll hear this, um, but it's basically Saturday night, and uh, I couldn't think of a better way to end this concert. It has this beautiful cello part, the piano part is beautiful, the choral part is beautiful. So I'm hoping that this really touches home, especially during this time when how many of us are actually getting to experience live music? It's just, it's a really difficult period of time for live music. We're we don't seem We're to care. Here, right? <laughs> <laughs> So all on the side of the night.
heart is Viva La Vida. She was our <laughs> She was awesome. She, was, she took that soul and she, she lived it. That was great. We'd like to thank you all so much for joining us for tonight's concert. And uh, if you ever have any questions about our school, we have a website. We're at www.ethos.school. And uh, we have great programs, private instruction and group instruction. And uh, spread the word for us. Help your friends know that we exist, that we're here, and that we love to produce music and share it with the world. And that's what we do. And one more hand of applause for all of our performers. <laughs> So this is the, this is what we do in our recital. When we can't have a reception, we tell the parents. So you're gonna take your kids out. So you guys, I, I know there are parents here in my choir, but someone has to care for these parents. So you're gonna you're gonna make them cookies or something. You're gonna drop them by their house, and they're gonna be like, "We love you because you just gave us a real treat." And they worked for months in order to make this possible. So uh, we want to thank them all. Thank you for coming and joining us here today. I'm going to go down and try on light so everyone can get out and about. <laughs> so you're free to mingle for a little bit, and, uh, and thank you everybody for being here.